Okay, this tutorial is on photo rendering of objects. So, the first thing we're going to do before we render it is we're going to color it. So, we can go up to the Render tab, go to Appearance Gallery, and pick a color or material. So, you can paint it, you can change the actual material of it, chrome plate, colors, all kinds of stuff. So, go to there, and uh, you can click on Individual Surfaces and you can select multiple surfaces by holding the control key or if you hit this plane it'll color the whole thing just don't forget to come up here and hit OK or it won't change in color then go ahead and go over to scene and um, there's all kinds of different scenes you can pick I prefer a white background but you can do whatever you want so double click the white background if you want that one and then go to room and you're going to see hopefully a gray disk. If you don't see the gray disk, kind of spin around until it comes into view. And then that is the floor. And so we want the floor at the bottom of the object so that it gets nice uh, shadows and reflections. If you click this little uh, button next to the floor, it's going to move the floor down to the bottom of the object. And then go ahead and orient your view so that you get and see the side and the front and it's zoomed in because it's going to render it how you set it up. Go over to render setup at the top and change your quality uh, somewhere above probably above medium high or maximum. I'm just going to do maximum here so you can see what it looks like. And then once you've done that you set up your scene, you have put your material and color in then you can go ahead and hit uh, render window and it's going to start rendering the object. Make a photo rendering so that it looks like you just took a picture of the actual thing. So we'll just wait for this. And you can see you've got a nice shadow on the bottom and it's got reflections and shininess and all that good stuff. So now um, you save it. So we're going to go file and we're going to go save as save a copy and you're going to notice that it's a TIFF image which stands for tagged image file format so that's a common um, picture just like a JPEG if you don't want TIFF you could uh, scroll down here and change it to JPEG um, which is fine and then it's going to be saved as pair and you're going to put it into uh, the correct location in your H drive so I'm going to put it in my extrude folder right here. So pair four and hit OK. And then that can go into your notebook. That's it.